Oh, it's very constricting. Hey guys, this is my review here for The Possession of Hannah Grace. And I got shoehorned. The trailer for this film had a kind of an interesting concept. The idea of a mortician working in a morgue and she receives a body that was killed during a exorcism because of the demon inside her. That sounded like a cool idea. Also, this girl is suffering from her own kind of demons, her own sort of mental breakdown. So the whole concept of the trailer looked like she was trying to figure out what was real what was the demon and trying to convince herself that what was happening was not at just inside her mind. And that concept would have worked if they shot the movie like that. After a somewhat interesting start to the film, there's a person who is straight up murdered, super murdered, really, really quickly. And that's when the movie just breaks. Because up until this point, once the girl's body arrives at the hospital, they are kind of going through the numbers of trying to say that this is maybe in her mind. Like you don't know what's real and what's not. And then this random other dude just comes down while she's away and gets super murdered. And it's at that point where you're just like, okay, you threw away the concept. So now this is just a run-of-the-mill sort of possession movie. And then the same thing happens like three freaking times. It's very repetitive. And this is unfortunate too, because this concept is a cool idea. But really this was probably a good idea on paper as a short film. As a full length feature, it suffers. The characters aren't the worst, but they're not really good either. The film follows an incredibly predictable, predictable onset. Every scare, while at first they're okay because they're not super jump scary, they're not using loud brah music, they're not in your face. They're not using music and ambience noise to create that. But then they throw that all away and start using that shit later on in the movie. The most impressive thing I would say is the effects slash actual physical work done by the girl who plays Hannah Grace. This poor girl is naked throughout the whole movie, basically, but she is creepy. She has absolutely incredibly creepy movements, and it's pretty cool. I did like that aspect of her. Every time she moves up until a point is pretty horrifying. And then at one point she slithers into this elevator while the girl, the main girl, is not looking. And it looked really funny because she had to wait for the door to close to go up. And then that's another thing, too. She's fucking with this girl. She's apparently able to go all around this hospital and kill all these people and yet bring these bodies back to the morgue. Which, also, two things that are bullshit about this movie. This is a fucking hospital in Boston and it's dead quiet? The second thing is, there's this incinerator that's in the film. You can't honestly believe that people think that's what incinerators are like. Because it's not! There's a lot of things that are part of this movie that are just... They really try to stretch it, and it's terrible. This would have worked very well as a short film, in my opinion. But because they have a full length, and they had to pad it out with all this crap, it's unfortunate, because I got shoehorned into this movie. I thought it was going to be at least okay. But really, it's garbage. So in the end, my score number for The Possession of Hannah Grace is a 2 out of 7. This, this movie's as stupid as Fallen Kingdom. No, really, Fallen Kingdom's worse. I should have made that a 1. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, that's all from me, guys. See you guys next time.